Molly, what's for dinner? I don't know. Whatever you want. Uh, how about something beefy? Okay, so today we are making pot roast based on a 1937 era recipe. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a beef round tip roast and the recipe will be available for you guys down below in the description box, but I don't have any uh, measurement amounts for the flours or flour or seasoning, so I'm just going to eyeball this. So I'm adding a little flour and I'm gonna cover it in salt and pepper. And I could not find suet at my grocery store. So I'm just going to use a little bit of bacon fat. So just use whatever kind of fat you want to use. If you can find suet, go ahead and use that. So I've got my Dutch oven heating up on the stove and I've got the bacon fat melting in it. So we'll sear this on both sides and then we'll add the hot water and we'll get this starting to slow cook. So just a little bit more flour and just enough flour to coat. And you might have to add a little bit more pepper and salt to it later on. We'll just have to see how it's doing. All right, into the Dutch oven. Okay, so my bacon grease is nice and hot. So in goes the roast. I'm gonna sear it on both sides. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of hot water and then we're going to put in our vegetables. Now the recipe doesn't call for vegetables, but I like parsnips and carrots, so I'm adding parsnips and carrots to mine. And so once this is seared, we'll add the vegetables, we'll add the hot water, and then it says to cover tightly and cook for about four hours. Now, it says you also may need to add more water to it while it's cooking. So just keep that in mind. You might have to add more hot water to this. So let's get this going. Okay, so it's seared, so I'm gonna add my vegetables. And my water. Keeping in mind, I might have to add more water. And now on goes the lid and I'm gonna put this over about medium heat and I'm going to keep an eye on this just in case I have to add more water. So just keep an eye on this while it cooks. So I'll see you guys when this is done. Hey everyone, it's Molly and Dan. Hi. And our pot roast, our inspired pot roast, is done. So Dan, you ready? Was that, was that awkward enough? What, you're high? Yeah. No, I don't think it was awkward. So, oops. You'll have to add salt and pepper to taste. And again, this, Oof. Dan, so I'm just gonna start off by saying that this pot roast was inspired by this recipe from the Household Searchlight recipe book. This is from 1937. What is that from? 1937. Oh, nice. So, let's taste it. Oh my god. Is it good? That may be one of the best pot roasts I've ever had. So this pot roast said to sear it in suet. Now, I couldn't get a hold of suet, so I substituted bacon fat because I have a lot of bacon fat laying around and honestly, I've never really cooked with it. So I thought, well, why not try out bacon fat? Now, I asked the butcher, I went to Safeway, and they said they usually throw out suet. But they said if I called and left and requested it, that they would save some for me. So I, I could have done that, but I was, you know, impatient and I had bacon fat I wanted to use. So this pot roast is amazing. And also the recipe does not call for vegetables, but I, I added carrots and parsnips because if I'm making a pot roast, I'm putting vegetables in there. I like carrots. So that's why I say I didn't copy the recipe exactly. It is definitely inspired by this because it's a, it, I cooked it a different way than I normally would have. But I think it was fantastic. Oh yeah, it turned out delicious. Has it's slight, great. Yeah. Has it's super tender. Slight bacon flavor. You can use whatever fat you want as long as you brown it really well on all sides. But this was really easy dinner. You just have to keep adding water just to make sure it doesn't burn and because it'll boil off even with the lid on. So what are you going to eat for dinner? I know what I'm eating. That pot is really hot. <laughs> well, I guess I'll eat the apple pie we made. <laughs> That's something that I would do. So anyways, this pot roast is delicious. It's very tender, very juicy. And I think I'm gonna add a little cornstarch to the liquid and make a gravy. We have some mashed potatoes we need to eat up. So pot roast and mashed potatoes. This pot roast is a two thumbs up. 
Yeah, this is definitely it's a, a must fall, try. fall comfort meal. If you've never tried frying it or searing it in bacon fat, I highly recommend you do it. Mm. So if you like this recipe and want to see more vintage recipes like this pot roast, then please subscribe and hit the like button. I upload new content every Friday, and Dan and I are always here taste testing vintage recipes. Aren't we, Bill? Bye, everybody. Bye.